Oh, hello, cheeky monkeys. It's me, Drew Carey. <laughs> With my Scottish voice. Uh, <laughs> which is... Anyway, hello, hey! <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Morgan. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> and what do you do for a living, Morgan? I am an actor. An actor? Would you have been in anything I've, see I've seen? Been in a few motion pictures, yes. I did a movie called Driving Miss Daisy. I think the poor man's delusional. <laughs> you, you can't be the Morgan Freeman, the actor. No, it's me. It's me. Go ahead. Ask me some questions, sucker. <laughs> All right. In, in the movie Shawshank Redemption, which you're apparently in, yeah. what was your character's name? Red. That's correct! Yeah. You've won dinner for two after the bell. Yes, you won dinner for two. Oh, you excited, oh, Morgan yeah. Freeman? <laughs> Let's do a little dance to show how excited you are. So excited. Look, 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 clearly this thing has almost run its course, but you'll just have to be patient, that's all. Actually, oh my God, it's gone already. Oh, man. They're like, yeah, done, we're finished with you. Dance for us, monkey, you first. <laughs> the hell, man. I don't know. I think this audience is kind of suspicious. I get the kind of, yeah, all right. I think they haven't been warmed up sufficiently by the warm-up man. They haven't... <laughs> They're not suitably ready. They're not... What's the word I'm looking for, Jeff? Uh, fluffed. Fluffed, that's it. <laughs> can, I, can you say that? Oh, so I can say fluff to substitute any other word that begins with F? Can I say that? <laughs> like, for example, could I say racist bastard? I couldn't say that. Why not? Fluff, it's fluff. I can't say fluff. Have you ever had such nonsense in your life? Man, what a... <laughs> <laughs> Him, yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, how's that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. yeah. It is a great day for America. It's another tough day in Washington. Uh, you know, D.C., our nation's capital. <laughs> For a moment, it looked like they might be ending the shutdown, but then that plan collapsed faster than David Hasselhoff at an open bar. So we have... <laughs> <laughs> so we have a, a new graphic for day 15. That'll be the 15th president. So uh, let, who's it? Confirmed bachelor. Yeah. That's James, James Buchanan, who was the only bachelor president. That's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> he wrote letters uh, about, and I quote, going a wooing for gentlemen, and he lived for two decades with a man known as Aunt Fancy. <laughs> Also true, he went to school at Dickinson College. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, that's, these are all true things. Craig, how was he as a president? Yeah, well, fabulous. Uh, <laughs> and let's just say the White House never looked better in all its time. <laughs> oh yeah, Washington, there's even bad, more bad news out of Washington today. Because of the government shutdown, the White House is under attack by squirrels! <laughs> I don't think that's the right sound effect for a squirrel attack. What about squirrels? <laughs> yeah. Do you get a picture of the squirrels attacking the White House? Yeah, look, there they are. There they are. <laughs> wow, they're huge. <laughs> Our broken system can still be adorable. The reason they've invaded uh, the White House garden is because the White House gardeners have been laid off during the shutdown. Before the shutdown, it was a lovely vegetable garden. Michelle Obama planted the garden to show how easy it is to grow your own food. All you need is water, sunlight, and 50 full-time federal employees. <laughs> a lot of people got mad when Michelle Obama expanded the White House garden. It just shows you that people don't know their history. When Eleanor Roosevelt uh, grew a garden, it was a victory garden. When Michelle Obama does it, it's a communist plot. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. 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 That was a lot of talking to say communist plot, wouldn't it? I won't do that again. Anyway, right now the White House Garden is, is covered in more mushrooms and weed than Willie Nelson's tour bus. The place is... The White, House, the White House kitchen also cooks with the homegrown vegetables, although Fox News says some of the vegetables are secretly from Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> See, I did an aside there that wasn't really an aside because I didn't say anything, but I put my hand up like that so the people over here think, what does he say? <laughs> Now you're playing both sides I'm playing the both, other. I'm playing both sides, much like you do. Yeah. <laughs> what is it you are again? A AC. ACDC. ACDC, AC yeah. DC, yeah. That's right. My current goes both ways. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Were you a fan of James Buchanan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I first heard the White House was under attack by freaky rodents, I thought, what is that Ann Coulter up to now? I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding! Oh! Coulter's a beautiful woman. Do we have a picture of Anne? There she is. Now listen. <laughs> the squirrel invasion got so bad over the weekend, the president is now uh, thinking about doing the unthinkable, letting Joe Biden off the leash. Go get him, Joey! Go get him! <laughs> That's Joe Biden going after Joe squirrels. Biden, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. You want to see it again? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, you be the squirrel, I'll be Joe Biden. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look, you can say what you want, but this kind of thing would never have happened under George W. Bush, because Dick Cheney would have been out in the White House lawn with a shotgun right now. <laughs> Nobody messes with Dick's nuts. <laughs> talking about squirrels. <laughs> Even if I say the squirrels are fluffy, that's all right. Are you listening to someone higher up the food chain on your little headset? Is that what, that's what it is. He doesn't even have the executive power to bleep me. He's listening to... Who are you listening to? Big Brother? Oh, he's giving me the finger! He's, <laughs> he's giving me the wait a minute finger! I'll give you the wait a minute finger. How about wait a minute for that finger? How's that finger? <laughs> You probably saw my hand pixelated there. <laughs> well, you know what happened. <laughs> anyway, uh, if the shutdown continues into the weekend, the White House may be forced to cut back on some of the housekeeping staff. But luckily, Bill Clinton had compartments built in every room where he stored French maids. <laughs> so... Oh, Mr. Clinton! <laughs> <laughs> I got some dust over here, honey. I got, I got some dust on my pants. Oh. All right, so you be Bill Clinton, and I'll be the French maid. All right, you ready? Okay. All right. 
I'm just oh, wait, I mean, I'll need something to dust with. I'll use this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dusting. Ooh, hey, I think, uh, I think there's something on the carpet. Looks like you missed a spot. Over here? Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, a little closer. <laughs> Here, you can say, what's this? Is it a, uh, it's a, what's this? <laughs> it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> Why don't you stroke that? All right. <laughs> it's time for commercials. <laughs> Your eyes have gone out, dude. I can't see, Craig. I can't see. Jet! Oh, there I'm you are, right. yeah. I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, you want to try it again? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man whose internet password is Aunt Fancy. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a way call back. back. Way yeah. back. Call back. <laughs> back to that monologue. Yeah, that was that was quite something. That monologue, wasn't it? It was like war. <laughs> What, long periods of inactivity interspersed with uh, terror? That's right. <laughs> yeah. Just describe this program. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it's tweets and email time. We'll do our own tweets and emails. Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> We talk like Germans. <laughs> we still talk like Germans. Dracula. <laughs> Italian Bill Clinton. <laughs> Room service. Oh! Hello? Hi, sir. It's uh, Jerry from room service. Jerry, why do you always call me if you're room service? That would imply that I'm room service and you're calling from a room. I'm just, uh, just checking in, sir. I'm checking, checking in, in for, uh, for what? For uh, what? Checking in for what? You're not my friend. I've never even seen you. Sir, I understand you're a bit uh, uptight after I'm uptight. Monologue. You're damn right I'm uptight. You keep phoning me in the middle of the show trying to harsh my buzz. <laughs> you're welcome, young demographic. I just, uh, truth is, I care for you, sir. You care for me? Yes. If you cared for me, you'd show yourself and stop leading me on like some kind of invisible tramp. It's the way you like it, sir. You told me to fluff you a bit. I, hang on a second. Hang on. Can he say that? How come he can say it and I can't say it? You racist bastard. Uh, Jerry, can I ask you originally uh, where your people are from? Hi, I'm from uh, Cleveland, sir. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, no before Cleveland, you yeah, know. Uh, uh, Polish. Polish, yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. So it's all right for Polish people to say fluff here, but Scottish people can't say fluff. Oh, that guy is a racist He's bastard. a racist, then. Racist he, Jerry. bastard. Isn't he a racist? He's a racist, sir. I'm telling you. You know what people say to me? No, no, Craig, it's not racism, it's stereotype. You know what I do with these people? What's that, sir? Block them on Twitter. That's yeah, the that's the way to go, sir. Yeah. Your, yeah. Uh, your name on Twitter is, uh, wouldn't happen to be Aunt Fancy, would it, sir? It's a callback to the monologue. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that a callback to a callback from the monologue? <laughs> Are <laughs> uh, hey, you me, laughing sir. there, Jerry? What's no, going I'm on? I'm fine, sir. Just yeah. uh, someone was tickling me. <laughs> Who's tickling you? There's another gentleman here, sir. <laughs> you, you have conversations with another gentleman? Sir, you've uh, you've sort of uh, been ignoring me lately, so I don't know where else to turn. I need some comfort. <laughs> but what's the other gentleman's name? It's not James Buchanan, is it? Uh, as a matter of fact, he is uh, the world's foremost uh, James Buchanan impersonator. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Jim. Jim Buchanan. 
<laughs> you stupid bastard. All right. Uh, I got to go, but All remember right. this. Remember, hear that, you remember that cough that that guy did in the audience yeah, there? It, yeah, remember that. Never forget it. All right. <laughs> Racist bastard. Oh. All right. Um, okay, uh, let's get going with this then. This is from Stefan in Dresden in Germany. Ooh. As you can see, Stefan is an owl. I'm sorry, who? <laughs> this joke is always funny to me. Why? <laughs> because it's stupid. It's stupid. And it gives me pleasure downstairs in my pleasure organs. Are you all tingly now in the basement? Yes. I'm fluffy down below. <laughs> uh, Stefan in Dresden says, Dear Craig, you haven't called Prince in a while. How is he? I haven't called Prince in a while. Hang on, I'll, uh, I'll give him a go. Hello? Yeah, hello. Is that Jerry or Prince? No, it, it's Prince. Oh, hey! Hey, Prince, it's Craig, what's up? Oh, I'm just hanging out in my house. All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Racist bastard. All right. Yeah, yeah, Prince is fine. Uh, all right. Uh, this is from uh, Margo in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, do you ever think it would come to this? No, I did not, actually. Uh, oh, you, you think it would come oh, to this? Man, no, no. This is from Davis in Muncie, Indiana. It says, uh, Craig, Jeff, and Secretariat. <laughs> when a guy gets rejected three times by the same woman, does that mean A, give up, or B, persevere? Or C, she'll get a restraining order? <laughs> What does it mean if a guy gets rejected three times by the same woman? They're married! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, yeah. yeah! Yeah! There's your late night joke right yeah. there! There's your lights of some late night music! Come on! All right, that's enough. Thanks. Really, really good there. <laughs> Uh, this is from Allison in East Lansing in uh, Michigan who says, uh, Hi, Craig and Jeff. Do you believe that women are smarter than men overall? Yep. Absolutely, I do. You? Totally agree. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm gay. No. Think? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> they also have vaginas. Uh, yeah. I, believe I'm, I, I believe I'm correct in saying that. Is that right? Yeah, I'm gay, so I could care less. <laughs> what about you? What? You, you don't know what you are, you couldn't care less, or you don't know what I mean. Well, you don't, well, what are you looking for? You don't know what you're looking for? Are you in U2? He's in U2. What he still hasn't found what he's looking for. Unbelievable. And I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I wonder if Bono's on the phone. <laughs> oh, hey, hello. Who's it? Who's calling? Is that you, Jerry? No, it's Bono. Bono! <laughs> how are you? Fine, how are you? All right, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Still having fun. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, this is from Robert in Lethbridge, Alberta. We're growing there next week. We're, we're growing there? We're growing there. <laughs> I meant to say we're going there, and then I said growing there because I am growing downstairs. I am so excited about going to Lethbridge, yeah. Alberta. Yeah, that's right. I am growing now. Look at me. Can't you tell I'm growing? Oh. I'm growing because I'm thinking about going to Lethbridge, Alberta. You, you, are you got a problem with this? You, you should have a problem. Lethbridge is one of the jewels of Canada. <laughs> and I'm growing about going there. We're growing there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Robert uh, says, uh, Dear Craig, just wondering if you're planning to visit Fort Whoop Up while you're here in Leth. They have a place called Fort Whoop Up Fort in Lethbridge. Damn straight, I'm going there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm now fully grown. <laughs> no, here's how you know when I'm fully grown. There you go. That's yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Tonight is 
a terrifically talented actor. His new film, Kill Your Darlings, is in theaters tomorrow. Take a look at this. Oh. Michael C. Hall, everybody, Michael C. Hall. Hey, first of all, congratulations on getting to the end of Dexter, and you're still here, and you're no, a uh, brutal killer. They're not doing any more episodes? Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you that Showtime, it was Showtime, wasn't it? I had to find out somewhere. No, yeah. thank you, I appreciate that. No, that was a hell of a run. Yeah, eight fantastic. years. Eight years of killing. Yeah. Yeah. And then before that, it was the uh, Six Feet Under. That was... Yeah, uh, I was getting bodies after they were already dead on that one. Yeah, that was... Uh, and also, there was, uh, there was some... Right. Yeah. And Stunt now, work. um... Stunt work. It, we, what's, the, uh, what's the film about? Kill Your Darlings is uh, based on a true story uh, about a guy who was murdered in Riverside Park. I tell it that way because I'm the guy who was murdered. Oh, you, so you're not the murderer? Uh, no. I, I turn the tables yeah. on myself. But there's a homosexual element, too, to this. It's, a, it's sort of a mashup of Six Feet Under and Dexter. There's, there's right. murder and, and uh, gay themes. <laughs> No, it's about, it's actually about... I'm uh, in, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah, 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 I should stop while I'm yeah. ahead. No, the, the formative years of the Beat Generation, Allen Ginsberg, Burroughs, I don't know Kerouac. much about uh, Ginsberg or, or... Yeah, well, he was a freshman at Columbia University right. in, the, in the early 40s, and that's where he met uh, Jack Kerouac, William S. Burroughs. This is before any of them had put pen to paper. It's, or, and, and, and before this, drugs, or were they already into drugs? Uh, uh, I, think, I think Ginsberg, around that time, discovered maybe speed and pot, right. uh, and, and I can't Burroughs imagine. was already... Yeah, he was off already, and running. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he wasn't. He, he wasn't was like, sort of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He was definitely a leader on that front. Are you a fan of that kind of uh, that kind of poetry? I suppose beat poets, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely went through a period of fascination with the beats and was aware of this particular story, the story of this murder. That kind of um, it's like a beat big bang. I think it was a creative catalyst for all these guys when it right. happened. But. Um, yeah, I definitely am. Poetry is such a difficult art form. I, th I, have, I, I really struggle with it. I, you know, unless the, it has Nantucket in it, I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, some, I mean, the, the, like the big ones, the, yeah, you yeah. Know, the Khalil Gibrans and the Shakespeare's and the, you know, and the Yates and all sure. that, I'm all right. But right. when it gets a little more obscure, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I like that. I mean, you can definitely read like a Ginsburg poem and see how the way he wrote influenced someone like Bob Dylan, who right. in turn influenced right. everyone else. Right. Um, so I think there's Leonard Cohen, perhaps. Sure, yeah. sure. He's Canadian. He's yeah. a little more, maybe... Pristine or concise, you know. Ooh, yes. Whereas Ginsburg is kind yeah, yeah. Of, well, that was good. I felt slightly shamed there when you did that. Yeah, that's okay. I thought I was trying to join in, and then I went, "Oh, I don't know what I'm talking about here." Right. I'm out of my depth. Well, you know, that's just blind leading the blind, really. Really, I don't know much about poetry at all. Hmm. <laughs> What about uh, surfing? Do you know anything about surfing? I, uh, I surfed once. Mm, me too. Uh, the board was like almost as big as this stage. You yeah, know? I think that's like called being on a boat, boards. really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was yeah. a motor. Yeah, yeah, it's a motor. And, and a we turned off the motor and there was a sail that we used. Was no, it, it that, was that thing in Hawaii, at the beach in Hawaii? With the no, it was, it was in Malibu. I got up the first time. Right. And all the guys were like, whoa, dude, it was dude, great. Yeah. And the rest of the day, I just... Yeah, I kept trying not to yeah. drown. All right, then. Well, surfing, surfing poetry. poetry. Um, ever been to Australia? I have. No way. Yeah, I went I went there to do a press tour for Dexter. Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that bloke that keeps killing everybody, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I shot a promotional ad um, um, about uh, some place. It was for Dexter, and I was sitting in an airport, and a guy came in and he's like, are you Dexter? And I said, yeah, I'm t uh, taking a plane to Adelaide. Did you know that in Adelaide there are more serial killers per capita? Yeah. Per capita? And then he's like, oh, really? You know, and then and I give the little smile, you know. <laughs> and they, they took it off the air. The people in Adelaide were scandalized about people <laughs> telling the truth. Well, Adelaide does have a few serial killers. Yeah, they they yeah. didn't want it out like that.
Well, people had stopped going to Adelaide, and it's the, exactly. it's the hub of Central Australia. Or they'd be going there for the wrong reason. Oh, yeah. Well, you mean Cyril Kellis would go yeah. there? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah maybe there's that. a yeah. support group. Let's I go to Adelaide. Into. Let's go to Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Cyril Kellis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, they all do that. Oh, right. Put the lobster in the basket. Put your passport in your pocket. Let's go to Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> Lotion in the basket, passport oh, in the... Yeah, do you know who was here last night? was uh, uh, John, Joan Esbo, who's a uh, uh, Scandinavian, Norwegian writer. He writes about serial killers. And I thought, mm -hmm. they seem to have a lot of them in Scandinavia as well. well or maybe it's, it's dark. Just, it's very dark, isn't it's it? It's cold and dark. You ever been there? No. I, I I've it. just have heard. I, li I like the idea of going there. I, I want yeah. to go there. I'm going to Canada next week. I wonder if that's anything like it. I'm sort of drawn to, I don't think it's cold there, but I don't know that they have the, like, full-on... I think uh, parts of Canada, of I darkness. think if you go... Yeah, if you go to yeah. northern Canada, but I'm going to Lethbridge, the jewel right. of central Canada. <laughs> because... Oh, I didn't stand up, you know. Right. And also a bit of... Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, the, you know the places to go. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Adelaide and Lethbridge, uh, yeah. Alberta. Excuse me, could I... No. Excuse me, could I get in? Yeah. I'll let you right in. Yeah. <laughs> you should have done that in Dexter. Yeah, I know. The show would have been successful if, if I'd known it was that. the last season, I would have done it. No, you can't do that. You knew it was the last season. Yeah. Wasn't it your idea? That's it. I've, enough of the killing, more poetry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with Harry's code. <laughs> Michael C. Hall, uh, who was uh, just telling me he's never been to Scandinavia, so uh, no. so we're out of time. <laughs> we'll be right back. Right. Yeah, that's no. it. Where have you been then? If you've you've been to Australia, but you've never been to Scandinavia, and you've never been to Canada, you don't like Canadians. Is I've that been to saying? Canada. Oh, you have? No, I've been to Canada. I do like Canadians. My no, girlfriend's a Canadian. Is she really? Yeah. That must yeah. be nice. <laughs> Well, she's bound to be, she's polite, clearly, and... She's polite, polite, yeah, um, and, um... Canadian women are sexy. I, I agree. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> I've noticed that. I went to Canada a couple of times, I was like, this is not what I expected at all. <laughs> I'm delighted to say. Is that why you're headed back? That's why I'm going back. No, no, no. I'm just going no, 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 no. Where did you meet her, your girlfriend? I met her in a coffee shop here in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah. Were you pretending to write a screenplay? <laughs> No, I was actually having uh, coffee. I know. What kind of madman are you? <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. it was it a Starbucks? No, no, it was a, it was a uh, Kings Road. Oh, I know that one. Yeah. Do you know good the, coffee. Yeah, it's good. And the, one of the waitresses there, I uh, used to. You could be on this show. Oh, really? Well, she. Well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> She was a waitress there, here? and she had a band, uh -huh. and she said, can I be in your show? And I said, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. And she came on, and uh, she did very well. Oh, good. Yeah. She still worked there? No, I think she's famous now. Her name was Celine right. Dion. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> she's yeah. Canadian. She was Canadian as well. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most Canadians, especially the singing ones, pass through King's Road Cafe. Well, yeah, that's a destination for the Canadian shown. Leonard Cohen hangs out there. Leonard, Leonard Cohen is very, very good, you know. I, I know I'm sticking my neck out here, but I'm a big no, fan of Leonard amazing. Cohen. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I think, he's very dark for a Canadian, and then I forget that my stereotype of the Canadians is completely wrong. They are quite dark and literate. Yeah, they just don't lay it on you. This yeah, way. yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. You kind of like, you buy this idea about Canadians, and then you see them, and they're like, oh, no, we're actually quite twisted and strange. Yeah, yeah, we just have, <laughs> we just have manners. Yeah, yeah, they've got manners. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. The dark manners of the Canadians. The dark manners of the Canadians. I like that. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're, we're heading somewhere with this. <laughs> we should go to a coffee shop and write a, a screenplay, The Dark Manners of the Canadians. Yeah. Well, you got your title. I mean, yeah, people yeah. will rush to see that. The Dark Manners of Canadians. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we should take Canadians Coming out the title. Christmas put, Day. Yeah. Christmas Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Dark Manners of Christmas. Mmm. Oh, that's it, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we really are out of time now. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you want a chocolate dollar, a smoke of the pipe, ding the bell, awkward pause, blow the mouth organ, or you can just, like, leave. I'll do the pipe. You want to do the pipe? Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Uh, correct. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid I've used this pipe, so I'll do the pipe. All right. Uh, Fair enough. I'll ask you a question as a therapist. Okay. Okay. Ready? Ready. I'm going to ask you as a beat poet therapist about <laughs> So, Michael. Yeah. Have you ever been to Adelaide? Yeah, I went to Adelaide. I found a therapist there. I used to show up at his office wearing nothing but a pair of cellophane underwear. And every time he saw me, he looked at me, and all he'd ever say was, I can clearly see your nuts. <laughs> hey! Michael Zio, everybody! Extremely talented actress, you can see her in her anger management, which is Thursdays on FX. Take a look at this. Laura Bell Bundy, everybody, Laura Bell. <laughs> Hi, Laura Bell. Hi. Should I say Laura Bell or just Laura? Well, LBB if you're nasty. LBB is what I am, that's right. LBB if you're nasty? Yeah. I like that. You know, like Miss, like Miss Jackson if you're nasty? Oh, I see what yes, you mean. Yeah. yeah. But you can call me Laura Bell. I'll call you Laura Bell. Hi, Laura Bell. <laughs> Where are you from? Kentucky. Ooh, not Louisville, are you? No, Lexington. Oh, right. You said it because Louisville, you have to say it. You got to say it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have to say Louisville. If you're like in a in a compromising position like Aunt Fancy. You've been talking to Jeff and also Jerry from room service. Hey, um, how are you getting on on the anger management show? I'm having a blast. Are you really? Yeah, I am. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Okay then. No, I love it. What are you doing? You playing a therapist? I am. Oh good, I do therapy. All right then. You ready? I'm ready. All right. So, you're from the South? I am. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I... I'm pointing at you with my pipe because I don't really know what I'm, where I'm going with this. <laughs> I think therapists do that a lot. I don't think they really know where they're going. They just keep the conversation going. They're like talk show hosts in a way, I think, you know? They just kind Except of... Except they make more money, obviously. Well, probably, yeah. Do you, do you go and see I, your therapist? I pay my therapist a lot of money. Do you really? <laughs> do you, I, are you in therapy? Yeah. Really? What do you think your issues are, mostly? Parental? Probably. Yeah, most people. I mean, yeah. I have great parents, but, you know. Oh, yes, I know. Nobody escapes a no, family home. No, you know, none of us goes out unscathed. Yeah. Yeah. No. What about, uh, what about surfing? You ever been uh, surfing? <laughs> I've, I've surfed the web. For porn? <laughs> so when did this fascination with porn begin? <laughs> What about Adelaide? You ever I been to Adelaide? I got caught. Um, I got caught reading my um, dad's play, uh, Playboys. <laughs> I don't know if Playboy would count as porn in this modern filthy world. Well, though. when you're seven years old and oh, you're looking yes, at it like, porn, yeah, yeah. what the hell? You weren't doing that. I'm like you? boobies. These are boobies. You know, it was like crazy looking to me. I'm like, I I'm 51 I'm like, and I'm exactly the same right now. I'm, I'm... <laughs> well, I was like, am I gonna get those? I'm still waiting for them. No, I, I think they're here. <laughs> have you ever been to Scandinavia or met a serial killer? No. Nope. Uh, well, I might have met a serial killer. I'm not quite sure. What, but what, I, I uh, tried to watch Dexter actually. Yes, yeah, it was very. I got scary. very. I got scared in the hallway when I he, saw Michael. I, yeah, like, he's, <laughs> But he's just an actor, you know. He's not. He doesn't really kill people I much. Know, not know. much. I, I think know. a little just bit, a little but bit. just a little no, bit. No, never. And and I, I have been to, I've been to Sweden and Norway. Have you really? I have. 
I've, I've been to Sweden, but I've never been to Norway, and I fancy it. I want to go. It's great. I actually, I went this summer. I was on tour with Rascal Flatts, and I... Oh, really? Yeah, I did a country music festival there. Oh, year. great. <laughs> I, you know, I've met them as well. They're very nice. Yeah, I've they're the great. Boston uh, Pops with those guys. Yeah, they're yeah, great. Yeah, they, uh, they enjoy a night out, don't they? They do. Yes, they do. Yeah. Yeah, they're rascals, Like the fact. vodka. Yes, they do. Yeah. So, did you have a nice time? Were you on tour with them? Yeah, I was on in tour. In their tour bus? Well, in Europe, we, we, we took... We didn't really take a tour buses we took like sort of buses and trains and planes because we were jumping from Norway to Sweden to Ireland to England yeah um, they're all like 50 miles from each other though oh <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah but Norway and Sweden anyway you went to Ireland too mm -hmm. did you go to Scotland I didn't what but the I hell I what the hell Laura I Bell know. I wanted to but I went on a hot air balloon in Ireland that's not really going to Scotland, well, though, is it? I can see it. Well, okay, fair enough. You went on a hot air balloon? Yeah. That sounds nice. Yeah, it was. What? I was, was kind of scared, but. Yeah, I I'd thought, be scared. I thought it was awesome. How high did you get? And also, where did you go to the <laughs> hot air balloon? <laughs> 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 um, I got pretty high. <laughs> got pretty so, uh, high. So, in Ireland, did you enjoy the Guinness? You know, I'm, I'm allergic to beer. Yeah, me too, in a way. Yeah. But I enjoyed the Jameson. Ah, yes, John yeah. Jameson and Co. Yeah. yeah. They make a fine product. Yeah. 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 It can be. Uh, it can be an active uh, adventure, a trip to Ireland. It was. It was definitely adventure. An adventure. I w You were singing. I was singing. Do you still sing? <laughs> After that trip, I had to think about it, but yes. <laughs> yes, really? I, I'm still... Why, I'm did, still why like, because you, did your voice get affected by the drinking and the <laughs> Yeah, I thought about just staying there and being a barmaid and just, you know... That would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. Yeah, I know. I think about that sometimes. I love Irish Being pubs. a barmaid in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... What's wrong? I was just thinking about stealing that pipe from you and being your therapist and asking you why you wouldn't yeah, want to be a barmaid. I've been the end of it. So you could hold it, I suppose, there. Yeah, just, <laughs> There, did it? <laughs> you know, I could, strangely enough, I could watch you do that for a while if you want. So, why do you want to be a barmaid? I think it's not I want to be a barmaid, particularly. I think it's just the idea of a simpler life, you know? Mm -hmm. Simpler life, less complicated, less Hollywood, less in the way of present company, except, of course, douchebags. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's lovely to meet with you. You look great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we're out of time, unfortunately. Oh, that's okay. Well, here's your, here's your rest of your pipe back. It's lovely. I appreciate it. You can take it with you if you want. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Laura Bell Bundy, everybody. We'll be right back. As you can see, I have wood, Jeff. Ooh. Yes, and I, I'm, I'm going to throw it on the fire. All right. You ready? Yeah. No, that worked out. I think so. I yeah. think I got a little splinter from the wood. Oh, yeah. A little Did you, wood? Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Candy? Certainly. Good night, everybody.